Let me tell you about the time I fell asleep at the wheel. Hey YouTube world, it's me, Evelyn. The only reason that I'm standing here before you at 2 a.m. and not strewn effortlessly right down the middle, not the left nor the right, but right down the middle of my comfortable yet affordable Ikea bed is because of you. I love you. Just, just accept it, just receive it. I know you're like, oh, she said the L word. Take it, you can say it back later. And that's my problem. I love sleep, but it is the first thing to go if I have to make a choice. There is this image on the internet. It's a triangle and at each point is a facet of your life. Work and school, social life, and sleep. And in every image, it says something to the effect of you can only have two. And because of the choices I make and I own them, what is sleep? Like, what is it? I am always, YouTube, always just a little bit tired. But anyway, back to the story. The first and so far only time I've ever fallen asleep at the wheel, I was on assignment. I was in Phoenix, Arizona, working for the paper, and my assignment had me driving to Yuma, Arizona, which is basically the crevice of nowhere, to follow this restaurateur who was diving into the world of winemaking. So I had to follow him to this vineyard at the butt crack of dawn because it's Arizona and it's like 100 degrees at 7 a.m. After working a full shift and turning in my stories and assignments or whatever, I take a little nap, I hit a little nap, and I get in my car and I drive from Phoenix to Yuma, Arizona. I get there before Jesus has risen. So I do my thing, I write my stuff, I film whatever I'm filming, and then we have to drive from the vineyard to the actual winemaking facility. Girl! So they get in their car, I get in my car. There are no road signs. I just have to follow them. So we driving, mm, mm, drive, drive. And I realize while I'm driving that I can't account for the last second of my life. Like I can't, where was I? Wait, was I, what? I was asleep for a split second. I was, so I grabbed every stale, bottle of water in my car and my car is messy so i have like 17 bottles of water i literally dump them all over my body forget that i'm about to go somewhere and actually be in front of people and report and film i dump water on top of my body cut on spotify to the highest maximum volume that my toyota corolla can take me and i play Kanye West, mercy. Let the suicide doors up. And I'm screaming at the top of my lungs because I can't go to sleep. If I'm silent, if I let the lull of the car, I will fall asleep and I will perish and I will pass away from this earth. And that's just not what I wanna do at a pristine like 22 years old. I'm drenched. My windows are down. He said, let the suicide doors up. I ain't got suicide doors, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm totally the Corolla. So I lower the windows and the wind is hitting me. Lamborghini, mercy. Judge, she's so thirsty. Mm, mm, mm. And I make it to my destination. Everything's fine. We're alive. Flash forward and I'm doing this beta video. Ain't God a good one. So when people say I'll sleep when I'm dead, I'm always like, mm. I don't know that I feel you. I would have to disagree because while sleep is the first thing to go on my list of priorities, I like living. That's all I got. I'm really tired. I don't know if any of this made sense. Hopefully in editing, it'll be cohesive. Let me know what you think. If you have to choose between work and school, social life and sleep, which two do you choose? I'll see you tomorrow, but between then and now, see you on the internet somewhere. Bye.